All right, so have a look at Dark Blue Sweater. I'll just play through it and then and go through the part slowly. <laughs> Let's go through it slowly now. I'm just going to play the low D and then, because we've tuned down to a D, open D that is, D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. So we're going to play the low D string and at the same time the slightly higher D string and slide from the second to the fourth fret on that higher D string. And then he tends to just use these three um, fingers or your thumb and these two fingers. Just playing the those two together, those two Ds, and then we've got the A, and then the F sharp, I have to remember which strings are which, and then you can play that D, so you actually end up playing middle, index, and then index, but those two strings are actually playing the same note, but because they're on different strings they sound just slightly different, which gives it a really cool um, kind of sound, so, and then back to the bass. A couple of bass notes usually between each of his plucks on the middle and index. Now we're just going to go back and slide and then pull off. So I'll just play all that slowly. So it's just middle, index, index, and then two bass notes sliding that down and then I usually just try to knock that A string it just sounds really cool going into this next chord so just gives you kind of an extra cool note same thing just instead we're just going to play um, yeah same thing in the right hand but we're just going to be playing the fifth fret um, counting for the capo that's on the 2nd fret, and we're playing the 5th fret with our 2nd finger. Everything else is exactly the same. And then, what we need to do this time is, we play around in this area, and then the 4th time, we play middle index, and then instead of playing index just on an open string, we're going to slide again from the 2nd to the 4th. And then, we're going to play the bass note when we reach the fourth fret on the slide, which does take a little bit of time just to get used to, but it sounds really cool. So hopefully that um, makes a bit of sense. I'll just play it through one more time slowly. bit in the next lesson but basically it just he's going to play the fourth fret on the low D string and he kind of just just pluck as you were and then go down to the second fret and then back to that um, original kind of chord um, at the fourth fret on the D string there so See how you go.